All right, it is time to start planning your summer getaway, and now might be your best chance to get a pretty good deal. Okay, whether or not you're flying or you're driving, three on your sides, Gary Harper says you have to plan ahead. When it comes to making the airline reservations, keep this in mind. Try making that reservation about 70 days out from your departure date. That's when you'll get the best deal. Now, when it comes to making summer vacation plans, here's some other tips to keep in mind. On any given day, 120,000 people pass through Sky Harbor International Airport. That's a lot of people, so be patient. So the best rule of thumb when it comes to travel is flexibility is key. Michelle Donati is with AAA of Arizona and says that being flexible with your schedule is key when booking flights. And as far as airline prices go, they're holding pretty steady right now. We expect the airline prices will be on par or even slightly higher than they were this time last year. Of course, you should always shop around and compare prices, but if you're looking for the best deal, then the days you choose to travel will actually dictate the price. Typically Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, those days are going to be um, cost less to fly. But how much do flying on those days really help? Well, booking a Wednesday flight over a Sunday flight can save you on average about 76 bucks. Corporate travelers tend to drive up airline prices on other days, with Sundays typically being the most expensive day to fly. And when it comes to booking your airline reservation, 70 days out seems to be the sweet spot for the best deals. But what if you're driving for your summer vacation? AAA says get ready for sticker shock at the gas pump. Gas prices are almost 50 cents more per gallon than they were this time last year. So to put that in perspective, if Arizona gas prices were to peak today at $2.80 per gallon, it would cost you about $42 to fill a 15 gallon tank. That same tank last year would cost you about $34 and some change. Your summer driving will no doubt include highways and maybe even some back roads to remote areas like national parks. If that's the case, keep in mind that cellular service might be limited. So instead of relying on directions from apps downloaded on your smartphone, you might want to consider another option to help you get around. And these satellite based GPSs tend to be accurate within about 15 feet. Ken Coburn is a technology expert with data doctors here in the Valley. He says buying a dedicated GPS just might be worth the investment if you plan to travel a lot or plan on traveling outside the U.S. As good as smartphone navigation apps are, Colburn says they can have limitations if service is unavailable. This requires some type of connection to the cellular network to be perfectly accurate, whereas a true GPS uses the satellite systems, so you're going to get that accuracy, especially in remote, uh, in remote areas. And keep in mind, gas prices, of course, always go up during the summer months, but traditionally they always spike during Memorial Day. And don't forget, that's next month, so prepare yourself. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.